Greetings, you trained jackals. My name is Graham. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Crack a Pack here on LRRMTG, where today we are opening what is arguably the most expensive booster pack we have ever opened and may ever open on this particular show. This is a pack gifted very kindly to us by a gentleman named Eric at PAX West 2019. And it is a pack of Portal Three Kingdoms in Chinese. And it's going to be a fun challenge for me because I don't know these cards very well at all. And it's going to be a little tricky also for James because he's the one who looks up the card prices as we go through the episode. And it's a little tricky to find the card prices properly reflected in this printing versus being printed in English, unless it's some of the very expensive cards. So we're all going to learn together. I can't believe we have this. Thanks, Eric. Here we go. I'm trying to be very, very gentle. Why that? That smells like nothing. It smells like paper. How many cards are in here? Ten? There are ten cards in here. And we begin with a red creature. It's one in a red for a 2-2. Two, two. And there is some kind of rules text. So this was... <laughs> it's funny, because this was back when in Portal, they put a line between the rules text and the flavor text, but never in, like, a regular set. Uh, until they were like, wait, that was a good idea, and they brought that back a couple years ago. And, and and it remains a good idea today. I'm glad, though, that we don't have the little dagger and shield. I don't think that that's been super critical. So it looks like it has one ability, and I can't tell if it's a keyword or not. The keywords in English on these cards are in bold with reminder text. So I don't feel like this is a keyword ability. So I have no idea what this card is or what it does. It's a 2-2 two -two for two, so it's probably fine. I was wrong. This is the Yellow Scarves Troops. It's a 2-2 two -two for two that can't block. So it's actually not great, but that's fine. Oh, heck. Wait, I think I recognize this card. Is this three visits? There's three people visiting someone, so it could be three visits, but I don't know. It's one in a green, and it's got a collector number of 153. <laughs> It is three visits. Oh, snap. That one's worth a little bit, isn't it? Cool. What does it do? Something with land. <laughs> is it just rampant growth? Search your library for a forest. Put it into play. Untapped. Shuffle your library. Ooh. Ooh. Fun. All right. That's neat. I'll be... I'll just put that with the other cards where I always put the cards. I don't know. This is, oh, that's cool. A gentleman upon a horse, but it's not a creature. It's two and a white for some kind of spell that gives some kind of creature plus three plus three. Maybe is it only attacking or blocking? I'm trying to like suss out just by what little I know of magic, which is, it feels like it's less and less every time I look at a foreign set. Oh, excellent. This is riding red hair and it's a creature, any creature. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and horsemanship until end of turn. Horsemanship was kind of like flying, but maybe more like shadow <laughs> in that it was a different kind of evasion. They've only printed horsemanship in this set. I want to see it come back in one commander deck one day. Come on. And it was basically just that creatures with horsemanship could only be blocked or block other creatures with horsemanship. They just existed in their own horse plane where, where only horse things could occur. So, I mean, this meant that if someone was just attacking you relentlessly with their thing with horsemanship, you could be like, haha, suddenly this thing has horsemanship and block and kill it. And that would be pretty cool. Or you could just be like, now my thing's huge and gets through. So, you know, this actually seems like it would be a very useful combat trick. We, okay, we have an angry man on a horse that maybe flies. I can't quite tell. It's a one, two for one and a blue. I hope this has flying, because then it's just a storm crow. <laughs> that would be great. Ah, it's the Wu Light Cavalry, and it's a 1-2 with horsemanship, which means, is this more powerful than even the mighty storm crow? 
One in a blue for a 1-2 with horsemanship? Is that better than one in a blue for a 1-2 with flying? Probably. Wow. Didn't know we had the power nine over here. Oh, this one I know. This is Zodiac Rat. And I know that because it's a rat and in front of a wheel of Zodiac and they printed, there's 12 cards. They did the entire Zodiac in this thing. And this is Zodiac Rat. The Zodiac creatures all have land walk, but different kinds of land walk. So this is a single black for a 1-1 one, one rat with <sighs> forest walk, island walk, mountain walk, plains walk. So it's got swamp walk. Why didn't I guess that first? I was like rat swamp walk, but it is black. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. It's got swamp walk. I don't think that card's very good. What are we in now? You're the tiger? Yeah. Get get thee behind me, you're of the rat. Next up, we have three black black for a 3-2 creature that does something. These are the way assassins, and when they enter the battlefield, your opponent chooses a creature, and then these destroy that creature. So, like, it's, it's opponent sacrifices a creature with sparkling different flavor text or rules text so hey you know what sure Ooh, although five mana for a three two hopefully they don't have any small creatures that don't matter that would be bad one and a red for an instant uh there's a man reading from a scroll couldn't tell you it's called control of the court and it is draw four cards and then discard three cards at random. That, that sounds bad and sounds bad. Is this one of those cards that is bad, except in very specific circumstances where it's tremendously abusable? Like hollow one, that kind of deck? Maybe. Wait, you said this was a sorcery? Was that horsemanship card an instant or a sorcery? because they have exactly the same characters on the type line. Oh, that card's so much worse as a sorcery. You can't do the surprise block like I thought maybe you could. Okay, turns out this card is actually deeply mediocre uh, and control of the court is also like, yeah, whatever. Next we have, I don't know, this, ooh, this could be a legendary creature. There was a lot of legendary creatures in this set, like a lot, a lot, like so many. It's four and a red for a two, three creature with just just based on the layout of the rules text, some kind of keyword ability, and then a different ability that does something else. I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. It's Yuan Shao the Indecisive. He's got horsemanship. He's legendary too, isn't he? I was right. Okay, cool. And each of your creatures can't be blocked by more than one creature. Uh, it says each of your creatures can't be blocked by more than one creatures as long as he is in play, but that's we sort of take that as red these days. Is that part of the oracle text? That can't be. It's probably just a static ability now, because it's like, well, obviously it doesn't do anything if he's dead. Yeah, okay. Two, three with horsemanship for five, but they can't multi-block you? Okay. Interesting, interesting. We have a mountain. It's a very pretty mountain. A lot of green in it. I like this mountain a lot. And our final card is a forest. <laughs> two, two, two basic lands. Okay. It's a very nice forest. Okay, so I guess Yuan Shao the Indecisive was our rare? Oh, it is too. Sorry, it was hard to see the color of the expansion symbol, but yes, that is our rare. So two uncommons, because there's only 10 cards. Right, okay, so five commons two uncommons, a rare, and two basic lands. Sure. So say that you and your friends are sitting down to, you know, your weekly Portal Three Kingdoms draft, like you do. What, what, what are you gonna take out of this pack? I would probably take, I guess the assassins, just cause they're gonna kill something. It's either the assassins or Mr. Indecisive over here, because nothing else seems like astonishing in terms of mechanically, like mechanical playability. If I was in it for the value, James is gonna find out what 
I would take momentarily. Uh, I guess I'll take, I guess I'll take the way assassins and just be happy with a three, two for five that gets to kill something at uh, my opponent's choice. Sure, fine. Now, before the, the numbers slide onto screen, I wanna be clear that the totals we're finding are for the English printings of these cards and that typically the Chinese printings fetch less value in North America, which is where we're getting these prices from. So, you know, it's a bit of a discrepancy. Um, that said, wow, this is this is a high value pack. Control of the court, in English anyway, is worth around 60 bucks. Three visits around 50. And this mountain is the most expensive land in the set and it's worth about 40 bucks. <laughs> And I don't know if it's just because it is real pretty or if it's something to do with the artist or I, I don't know. Zodiac rat. This rat, this one, one swamp walk rat is 25 bucks. Maybe if you're born in the year of the rat, uh, then you really want to get your rat. I have, I have no idea, but as it turns out, the total comes together for about as much as card kingdom is selling, uh, just a pack of this for, uh, in, in English. So, or in, in Chinese, so you know, it all, it all sort of, sort of worked out. So uh, thank you, Eric. This is, this is amazing. I'm gonna go and get some sleeves. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Bring back horsemanship, just for one commander deck. Just have one horsemanship commander deck. Nobody would like it. I, I, I I'd be amused by it. I don't know. Look, thanks everybody for watching. If you want to send us a pack. It doesn't have to be P3K, but you can to the address on your screen and you can support us in everything we do uh, through our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me for uh, for this most expensive pack we've ever opened. I've been Graham. James is here on tech. Matt edits these and Heather gets them online. Thank you so much for watching and following the channel and leaving a comment and all that fun stuff. Uh, talk to you next time. Bye.